Welcome to Zooming to Webinar Success. If you're needing to plan a virtual meeting and are stuck, this series is for you. Full-time voice artist Grant Holmes is also a busy virtual meeting manager and on-screen host. Learn tips and tricks to having successful virtual meetings from step one. And now, here's your host, Grant Holmes, the webinar guy. Episode 12, good morning. This is Zooming to Webinar Success, as Alice just said, and I really appreciate her doing that intro. Today, we're staying with marketing and promotion, looking more at sales funnel and confidence. And this morning, I come to you with the confidence that I have to keep clearing my throat about every 30 seconds. I don't know where all that came from, so I'll try to mute it as it comes. <clears throat> what are you going to do? First thing here is that this is the first official posting for The Webinar Guy. Last week was kind of a crossover. And to introduce myself, if you've not heard of me before, I'm Grant Holmes. I am The Webinar Guy. New logo and all that stuff. We uh, did the introduction in episode 10, so please go back all the way to episode 1 if you want to know what we're talking about as far as zooming to webinar success. A lot of great content. Introduced it in episode 10 with Deb Gardner and then came through episode 11 last week as kind of a crossover, blah, 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 you don't care. Well, this is one of the first ones we're going to also turn into a podcast. And so I'm going to be trying to keep them under 10 minutes and start posting the audio, like I said, as a podcast. So if you have any suggestions for content or questions, I'd love to hear them. So back at it. In episode 11, I talked about sales funnel and being more aggressive in my approach to sales. Webinar marketer Jason Fladden said, you can let somebody else that's not that good handle a client, abuse, waste their resources, etc., or you can take an active role and serve them. Hmm. What's the point? Well, it always kind of ticks me off when I see someone else get work that I know I can do better. I'm competitive like that. And <clears throat> I'm competitive like that. Is that a bit of arrogance slipping in? Well, yeah, it is. And that's another thing I'm letting go of. You know, I know that my personality can be kind of strong. I get that there are many people that don't get my vibe and may not like it. And that's fine. At this point in my life, I'm okay with that. And you know, you get to a certain point when you realize there are a lot of people that love me like I am. There are many things in life that I'm not really good at doing. All right, I can do them, but I'm just really not good at them. And more and more, I'm learning to let go of that stuff. Let go of it and hire someone else that can nail it. Why spend two, three, four, five hours when I could be doing something more productive, something I'm really good at, and let someone else help me? But there are many things that I think, sorry, many things I know I'm one of the best at. And a few of those things are figuring out technology, like all the stuff that belongs in a webinar, the stuff that takes to produce a webinar. I'm really good at being in front of a camera. And I'm really good at hosting events. I, I know I've done more than a thousand, I'm sure. So when I step up to the camera here and tell you that I'm among the best you can hire, there's a confidence I bring that not only believes that, but my testimonials bear that out. And two things my clients tell me that bear the weight of this argument is, they hire that confidence as it gives them peace and helps them relax knowing that I got this. And they know that confidence spills over to their customers and their audience. And how critical and important is that? And that, my friends, I don't think is arrogance. That's facts. I'm inviting you to stand on your confidence. Now, I may have gotten off track of the sales funnel thing, but this really resonated with me this morning. Think about your gifts the stuff that you are awesome at. Are you standing on that truth? I encourage you to. Now and go and be your bad self and serve the world in the way that you do best. 
<clears throat> this series, Zooming to Webinar Success, is for smaller organizations and solopreneurs that may not be tech savvy and don't know all the steps or, quite frankly, don't want to know all the steps. Over this series, I'm going to lead you through significant decisions, capabilities, and in this case, a little bit of advice that you'll need to Zoom to Webinar Success. And as always, if you need help now, don't hesitate to reach out to Webinar Pro at thewebinarguy.com. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And by the way, if you're listening to this on the audio podcast, please hit my website, thewebinar.com. Ha! Right? TheWebinarGuy.com. Be nice if I knew my own web address. Hit me at TheWebinarGuy.com and watch past episodes. See you soon.